Life Objects Incorporated. We're showing off a few things at Rapid this week. The most exciting news is our new open source filament that we collaborated with IC3D. Um, so it's an ABS filament and they published all the documentation for how they make it. All the machines, all the settings, all the like basically everything you need to know to make the filament. And it's certified by the Open Source Hardware Association. Um, this week at Rapid, we're also showing end-use applications. So we've got customers that are doing um, green energy, um, dirt bike components, and robotics, like testing equipment, all using Lulzbot 3D printers. Open source is the special thing about this new material. It is the first time that the category of materials, for filament especially, has been made open. Um, Autodesk obviously shared the material for their resins, um, but there's much more about how this is made from IC3D, and so we think that that transparency is gonna be really good for end users that need to certify materials and know what goes into it and have a better understanding of the supply chain. So we think there's gonna be business reasons for understanding the filament um, beyond just the maybe maker or hobbyist interest in knowing how it works. We have a dirt bike in our booth that has some 3D printed accessory components. Um, they're made by a company called Moto Minded, um, which has been a customer and user of our products since 2012. And Moto Minded uses Lulzbot printers for um, rapid um, idea generation and then production. Um, there's one part in particular that the president uh, came up with, and then that afternoon he had stock in his store that he was selling. Um, he sells tons of this part, and it's really successful for him. He's selling it to dealers, and in the dirt bike industry, there's a, a lot of demand for like aftermarket parts and kind of modifications and things like that. And so Moto Minded is using 3D printing to basically stay at the cutting edge of their market.